This is Dreamhouse Bio Digesters. 11 things that you need to know about Bio Digesters. Over the years, we have done videos that explains the technology of how Bio Digesters work. If you are new here, consider subscribing. So we have a website, dreamhousebiodigesters.com. You can go there, read some of our articles, and see the types of Bio Digesters that we have for you. The first and most important fact you need to know about Bio Digester is what it is and what it does. We have said that biodigesters are simply on-site biodegradable toilet technology that break down solid waste for easy disposal in the environment. Now, we are used to traditional septic tanks and manholes over the years. With this technology, all you need to do is to get a big tank. The human solid waste and the water are all together. So sometimes it can be six months, it can be one year, if you're lucky, it can be two or three or four years. A truck will need to show up in the house and come and take this solid waste into a place where it can be disposed of. Now we've come to realize that it was a big problem and it's a big problem in our part of the world. So when the biodigesters came, then it became a game changer for all homeowners because it was easy to dispose of the solid waste, there was no scent, and then the size that you need. So that is it. The history of biodigesters is not clear in Ghana, but what we do know is that they became prominent in 2014 during the famous cholera outbreak that killed over 100 people. During that time, the World Bank recommended this technology to us as a country to adopt. And ever since, they've become the game changer in terms of human waste disposal in Ghana. This is Dreamhouse Biodigesters. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Another thing I need to explain about biodigesters is how do they work. Now, we have said that biodigesters basically is a biodegradable technology. Biodigesters simply work by having layers and then filtration system and then a soak hole. So human solid waste come on top of the digester through the flash units and then there's rapid separation of the wastewater from the solid waste. Microorganisms break down the solid waste and then the water is diverted into the soak hole. That's the filtration system. Now the solid waste is left in the digester for microorganisms to break it down. After a couple of years, it can be easily disposed of either for gardening purposes or easily disposed into the backyard of your house. There's a filtration and there's porous. So everything breaks down permanently and turns into water that's easily disposed of through the soak hole. Biodigesters use soak hole. Normal septic tanks, we call them soak away. With biodigester, you don't need a 4x4, four 5 four, feet depth with block constructed soak away. You need a soak hole, which can be a round circle shaped diameter, 3 by 4 depth, depending on the depth and the size of the biodigester. So if you have a 3 feet depth biodigester, all you need is a 5 feet depth soak hole which can be done with rocks and smaller stones. Some people also use blocks to do the soak hole. And then they put a plastic sheet, a recycled plastic on it, and then you cover it with the top soil. People also are told to secure around their digesters, especially the soak hole, just to ensure that the wastewater that's going there is in a good shape and it does not affect the whole technology. Fact 5 about biodigester is the disposal or the remains and how they are disposed of. We say biodigesters are disposed of in two different ways, depending on the materials that were used. If you use the wire mesh and the fiber net and organic soil, the time will come, you will have to remove all these biodegraded materials and dump them under a garden, a plant or simply dig a ground, about two feet ground, and bury it there. But with the biofilm biodigesters that use the porous, the water and the feces 
actually are broken together after a period of time. That's with the biofuel biodigesters. So there are two different ways of disposing of solid waste depending on the type of biodigesters that is done by a constructor for you. In fact, this is the reason why people choose biodigesters over other waste management systems. Now we have said biodigesters cost less to install and of course they are not expensive as compared to traditional manholes and septic tanks. We also say they can be done in a day and are easily sited at the backyard of your house. So that's the reason why people are choosing biodigesters now and they are becoming effective and they are helping homeowners have that needed peace of mind. Another fact about biodigesters that you need to know is that they are eco-friendly environmentally safe products what we mean by this is that when you do a biodigester the microorganisms break down the solid waste in such a way that there is no scent and then there is no effect on your household in terms of the smell the scent and then the problems that come with using other septic systems the biodigester works in such a way that microorganisms break down the solid waste and are easily disposed in the environment this technology works by using eco-friendly materials like fiber, like wire mesh, and like porous systems that can be easily be getting in the environment or in the locality in which you live. They are the same biodegradable stuff, the coconut husks, and all these fibers are easily broken down into pieces and can be easily disposed of in the environment. Another fact about biodigesters is that you don't have to dislodge them, not physically, with a truck. We do know that when you have a septic system, a time will come that you need to get the solid waste out of it because septic tanks do not degrade human waste. So a time will come, you will need a truck to show up in the house and come and physically pull these feces from the house. Now with biodigesters, you don't physically dislodge. What we do and what we recommend is there is a regular maintenance that must be done. The lifespan of a biodigester can take as much as 30 years depending on the user's lifestyle and the amount of people who are also using the digesters. Now what we say is that you must do a regular maintenance when you choose a biodigester which means that every three or four or five years those non-biodegradable stuffs that might have gotten stuck in the digester pampers, baby diapers, yes some people put those things in the digester or even condoms will have to be physically removed because they are not organic materials that the technology can biodegrade. So those ones have to be physically removed. And that's when the maintenance is done and the biodigester bed is replaced with new materials for you to keep using the technology safely. So we do not physically dislodge biodigesters, but we do regular maintenance for biodigesters. Another fact about biodigesters is that your groundwater is not affected. What do we mean when we say this? You see, biodigesters, the depth of a biodigester is 3 feet, maximum 4 feet, depending on the size. Now, when you get your 3 feet, it means your soak hole must go 5 feet, extra 2 feet in between. Let's say you have a, a borehole in the house. Boreholes takes at least 20 feet to dig. Some with the new mechanized boreholes, it's about 200 feet. So, biodigesters basically work on the surface of the earth where the wastewater is just distributed around the surface of the earth. So we do tell people when you do a biodigester, where the soak hole is done is where you grow your green grass or you secure the area. And the water, your groundwater or your water is not affected. The building itself is not affected by the amount of water that is coming from the soak hole because it's filtered gently and slowly on the surface of the ground. Another most important fact about biodigesters you need to know is that they have governmental approval and international backing. The history of biodigester shows that it was the World Bank that actually recommended that we implement or we adopt such a technology. So biodigesters that are being constructed in Ghana now have the assemblies backing them. In fact, the assemblies are implementing some parts of the government's policies where low-income houses are supposed to get reduced prices on biodigesters that they install so the assemblies are physically involved in the installation of the biodigesters 
in Ghana or in Accra, particularly in some parts of the municipalities in both Accra and Kumasi and Tamale. So biodigesters do have governmental approval, they have international backing, and they are being done, they are being supervised by the local assemblies in Ghana. Biodigesters also have environmental protection agencies approval. Thus, the EPA also gives approval for biodigester construction through the approving of the effluent level, that's the water that's coming from the digester and making sure it's tested and it's fit to go into the environment or to go into the ground. In some communities, biodigesters are allowed to be dropped in gutters because they cannot do a soak away. Environmental agency, that's the EPA, approves of such disposal of wastewater in the gutters in some parts of the community. What you must do as an installer in this situation is to get bottle, go and fetch the wastewater that's coming from the house, take it to the water research institute and have the effluent level tested for you. This can be given to the homeowner to keep in the house in case there's a problem. They can show that the water or the wastewater they are disposing into the environment is safe for that purpose.